torture yourself, Gomez. That's my job. I actually recorded this look step by step. So if you guys want to keep watching the rest of this video, you can see how I achieved this look from the wig to the makeup, to the detail, to the air thing in between. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this from your girl, don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment as well. And if you really want to hit that subscribe button, post notification bell so you don't miss another video from your girl. So you're going to need a couple bobby pins, a little wig cap, and now I'm just going to apply this to my head. So first I'm going to start off by twisting my hair just in two sections, two little piggy tails twisted up and then I'm gonna apply two bobby pins on each side to try and keep my hair down and make it as flat as possible for the wig and that's what it's gonna be looking like so now I'm just gonna go ahead and do that to the other side now I'm gonna apply the wig cap to my head now I look crazy like a burglar with a stuck it on my head this junk as tight as I don't know what but now I'm gonna take the got to be and I'm gonna just put it on my wig cap so that I could be able to cut it off and it can look you know like you know like how you supposed to put a wig on but um so as you could tell I'm trying desperately hard not to get it on my edges because this has got to be okay I'm pretty sure I got either silicone or whatever else in it so I don't want to get it on my edges at all I want to keep it just solely on my forehead so that's what you can see me doing now for the next step i'm going to just go ahead and pick up my dyson and i'm going to dry it make sure that it's nice and dry so i can cut it off and it won't come completely off while i'm cutting now with the scissors i'm going to carefully cut this wig cap off okay you want to make sure that you do not get your edges your ear your skin just all of that because it's so glued down so tight i want to try and be as careful as i possibly can and now it's time to apply the wig so i'm just going to put that on upside down then of course just adjust it to however i like it wherever i want my part and then with the glue that's already on my hair there's a little bit of glue still on my forehead i'm just going to go ahead and push down my wig so that it's nice and sticking and then i'm going to be hitting it with the dyson again just to make sure that it's all dry before i go to brush it and then it brush completely off my hair you know what i'm saying <laughs> just brush this bad boy nice and smooth and slicked it down and I'm actually going to apply a scarf to my head to kind of keep it tight <laughs> mm, excuse me oh my goodness <laughs> so that when I apply my makeup I'm not going to be getting my makeup all over my hair because that's never a good look especially trying to get it off of a wig so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and put a scarf on my head while I apply my makeup First things first, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face off just so I don't start breaking out a whole lot. You want to make sure that you have a primer because it just makes your makeup go on that much more flawless. So after I apply that, I'm going to go ahead and brush my eyebrows up with my eyebrow pencil so that I can get a good arch to my eyebrows because Lord knows I have no eyebrows whatsoever. Next, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to just shape my eyebrows with black. Because I'm going to have a black wig, I want my eyebrows nice and black. Okay, honey? So now that I have my brows done, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal it just to make it look a little cleaner and so that my eyeshadow can go onto my eyelid a whole lot more flawlessly. apply some of my elf cosmetic setting powder now i'm just gonna put it on my eyelids so that like it looks a little smoother before i apply my eyeshadow base all right so now i'm just gonna apply some white eyeshadow over my lid <laughs> Next, I'm 
going to add some silver and some gray mixed together to try and give it a really dark appearance because Morticia had like a really dark eyeshadow on her eye as well as with the white. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just keep on building all the dark silvers and grays and black that I have. When I did go with the black, I did go very light handed because I didn't want it to look like a really big smoky eye. I want it to look more silver. <laughs> So now with some liquid eyeliner, I'm just going to put some eyeliner on the top of both of my eyelids. Next with a pencil eyeliner, I'm going to put eyeliner on both of underneath of my eyes. And of course, I'm going to add some eyelashes on this bad boy right quick. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my eyelash on and then I'm going to go ahead and do my other side off of camera and then I'll go on to my foundation base. So I was going to paint my face white, but I only have a little bit that I had bought and I wanted to just save that for Halloween. So I decided to just put on some of my regular Fenty foundation. I do end up adding a lot of concealer on my eyes to brighten up my face to make me look a little paler and I'm going to get to that in a minute but far as right now I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of foundation under my eyes and on my face I'm gonna go ahead and take this headband off because I need to make sure that I'm getting foundation on my forehead too so that's what I'm gonna end up doing don't pay attention to how my hair looks right now y'all know I just had that scarf on so do not judge me okay um and then I'm gonna just brush it down because I know y'all looking at me like girl please brush it because you're really dropping me crazy all right, so now with the concealer, I'm gonna put a whole lot of dots because I really wanna brighten my face up and look paler since I'm not painting my face with the white face paint. So I'm just gonna add a whole lot and brighten my bigger sections like my T-zone and on my nose and around my lips. And then of course, don't forget to bake your face. Now I'm going to add to my cheeks a little gray eyeshadow because I don't know why, but Morticia kind of had like a skeleton thing going on. She had her um, cheekbones highlighted, highlighted with gray and then she added a little blush to her cheeks. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add a little bit of the gray so I can get that same appearance. set my face with the urban decay all nighter i love this stuff it makes my makeup really just stay i can honestly go to sleep wake up the next day and my makeup will still look flawless next i'm gonna go ahead and apply some red lipstick on my lips and then i'm back to brush my hair and as you could tell i have my costume on already and then my next step is just to add a little bit of red blush onto my cheeks Finally, I'm just gonna add some more gray eyeshadow and I wanna blend it more over to my nose because I noticed she had that same illusion like her cheekbones with her eyeshadow going to her nose. So that's exactly what you see me doing right now. It's the end of this look. Thank you guys so much for watching.